Now I've got a quick intro for you today, and here's why. I was out of town for Thanksgiving, only came back for a couple days, and then I've been out of town the last several days at a bed and breakfast in Virginia with my wife. And I gotta head out of town tomorrow morning out to the West Coast in San Francisco for work for the week. And I'll only be back for a few days before heading down south to fish with my buddy Jim in the Blue Ridge Mountains. So I'm working on refilling a couple of my fly boxes, and that means tying a bunch of easy flies that I know are gonna catch fish. And that's what I got for you today. Now, I can't remember when I came up with this pattern, but it's nothing revolutionary. It's basically a zebra midge, but with some black soft hackle wrapped as a collar to imitate some legs. So it's a really simple pattern, but this thing has caught a few big fish for me, both here in Maryland and the biggest fish I caught on a float trip out in Idaho a couple years ago came on this thing. And now I'm looking forward to giving it a try down in Georgia. So there it is in my vise, just my almost midge, but with a little bit of hackle. And typically I will tie these on 14s and 16s. This is a 14 and that's a 2.8 millimeter standard bead. It's not a tungsten bead. And normally I would tie these with brass, but that's a black bead just because I want to try something new. And I do weight them. So some about eight wraps of this lead free. Now after you jam that up in there, let's put a little dam of thread right behind it, maybe a few wraps over it, and then take it back around the start of the bend. Now here's something I do on my on this fly and my zebra midges. Just take a thin piece of crystal flash. Doesn't really even matter what color, just something that's gonna give it a little bit of flash and only two strands. So we got a little tail of two strands right here. Now I don't know how much this does for it and a lot of times on the river, I'll actually just cut that off. But if I want a little flash, I've got it. And just like my zebra midges, I do put a rib, a contrasting color from whatever the body's gonna be. If my body is gonna be a black or purple, I'll do a light colored rib. And this is a small wire and this one's silver. I'm sure gold would be just fine. And the next thing I catch in is some black floss. You could certainly have done this with, just use a thicker thread and made your body out of black or whatever thread you wanted. But I think it's a little bit quicker and the floss looks kind of good when you're, before you're done. And you know, I'm just making a mess out of this one. That floss is kind of mangling all up on me. Let's go back a little bit and give me a little bit more room. There we go. Now I might wrap this up and then halfway back and then up again, depending on how much of a taper I want, but just try to get, you know, wrap it up and get it as, as thick as you want and keep it as smooth as you can. Okay, that's certainly not perfect, but not many of my flies are. Now I'm gonna counter wrap this rib just like I would on a zebra midge. Now, if you were doing a zebra midge, just fill in that gap there and call it done. But here's where this one's a little bit different. Just a black soft hackle. And this is Hen. The first ones of these I did, I used Starling, and I kind of started calling it a Starling midge. But since I've gone to, you know, a, a black hen, I guess I can't really call it a starling anything anymore. We don't have a lot of this feather to work with, and that's probably good, because we're only putting a couple of wraps. Now with the starling, I was able to just yank that and break it. But with this hen, it's a little bit stronger, so I'm gonna have to go in here and snip this, the front piece of this feather tip. And now pull these back if you want, but I don't pull them too far back, because actually I kind of want them sticking out. I think that looks better for the fly, and does it make it work better? I have no idea. But I've been doing it this way, and the fly has worked for me, so. I've kept doing it this way. So there we go. Not really much cleanup to this. And remember, if you 
don't want that flash on it, maybe you're fishing this in a, uh, an overcast day, it's not very bright out, yeah, go ahead and snip that flash off and just fish this as a collared zebra midge. But it's really a simple pattern tie and this has been a pretty effective pattern for me. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time.